How is everybody doing today? Going to be going live in a few minutes, uh, doing collective card pulls, as well as uh, also uh, doing some uh, free one question per person. I'll just wait. And just wait. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Doing live card pulls today. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing? How did the full moon affect you today and yesterday? Anybody wants to pop into the chat and let me know how that uh, went. I had a lot of difficulties with my live yesterday, mostly on YouTube. TikTok was uh, pretty good, actually. Um, TikTok was really happy. Nellie, you're welcome to come on. I don't know whether we can do three, but I can see. Are we allowed to do three people on here? I don't know. You could try. Right, hold on. Let me see. see. Jump on for a little bit. It might be multi-guest or something. Let's see if we go can do live. it. I don't think so. Go live together is turned off. So I guess like two at a time. Okay. Let me see, Bud and Smelly, you're welcome whenever we and Larry are on. Um, do you want a who card? Are, or Who are we pulling for? Um, let me see. Nelly, um, she's out Embassy of Abundance. <clears throat> oh, nice. She's kind of my moderator for a little while. She's fun. She's a reader. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should have her on. I got to figure out how to do like a, one of those uh, services so, which allows multi-stream. Yeah, I know. I, I got to get. Well, I got to start working on the YouTube thing next week. Yeah, I had a, I had a lot of difficulties. Spirits did not want me to get on until about nine thirty yesterday. I tried for close to forty-five minutes to get my normal streaming software to work, and it okay. finally, I finally figured it out. They didn't like my camera resolution; it was too high, oh. and so it kept on shutting me down. So anyway, we're here. Uh, welcome to another here. full moon. Um, anybody have any full moon stories they want to tell us and put it in the chat? Uh, one question or one question per person for free. Uh, Ten dollars for what's blocking you in love. Ten dollars for messages from your DM. Twenty dollars for a mini and forty for a full. And I'm also doing light languages for fifty. And I think Susan's also doing fifty for Reiki's. If you're looking to get a, a Reiki as well, those full mm -hmm. ones they're going to be done at a later date because we don't have time to do that uh, for somebody at this moment. But uh, so uh, browse the list of our our uh, services and uh, who's got a question? Um. Well, let's see. Nellie, if you're still on, put a, something in the chat and then we'll do something for you if you want some cards pulled for you. Just let us know what you're looking for. Uh, so, yeah, everyone, it's Wednesday night. We just got through the full moon. How's everyone feeling? I feel like the crazies were out and that means it was like my kids and everyone was acting beyond crazy. Everything had to be right now. Mom, we got to go right now. <laughs> Yeah. Like, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there oh yet? Oh <laughs> my God. And now that my crown is opening with this headache, I just was like, and yeah, no. Splitting headache. And then I just had to drive some cheer loud girls home. Oh my God. Yay. Yay. As Did you guys sing singing. songs? Yeah. You didn't sing songs in the car? Fuck. I played soccer. I was no cheer person. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been doing good. I haven't been drinking soda for two days, so I'm having a little bit tonight because I think I was going through withdrawal. <laughs> I, I could understand that. It took me a while <laughs> to break myself of that habit. I used to love it, especially ginger ale and Coke. Uh, yeah, Red Cross is still trying to get me for blood. They love my blood. They call me like you want your nonstop. Blood? Yeah, vampires. very rare blood. I have very rare blood, so they love it when I when I donate. I, I think, I'm I think at my 10 sisters have now. it. They have like a rare or whatever. They love their blood. I don't know. Mine's not that exciting. Yeah. They want your blood. Well, we're in Halloween season, so. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. It's getting, it's getting pretty close. So let's see what we got. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's go look at the Oracle of the Shadows. Yeah, uh, let's do it. And light. 
Let's see what the Oracle of Shadows and Light wants to give everybody today. Uh, because what is an eclipse but a shadow in front of the light? So let's see what the eclipse message is from the Oracle of Shadow of the Light. Yeah, I don't know whether she got off or what's going on, but she Well, if she gets on, she can just pop in and we'll get her some cards. So the Oracle of the Shadow of the Light says, The Angel of Time working too hard. Yeah, I feel that today. I was working hard, 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 but there was nobody there. Um, you know, very boring day at the lot until like the last 10 minutes and it always gets busy then. Uh, three witchy sisters, the power mm -hmm. of three. So get yourself into that power of three, get into your power mm -hmm. three, six, nines and candy cane angel. It's time for a treat. Okay. Go have your, go have your ginger ale. It's time for a treat. <laughs> I did. I had some chocolate and <laughs> my ginger ale. And I feel Nothing like wrong shit, with a little so bit I'm of chocolate. treating myself. Yeah. Letters to a narcissist. Oh, I love it. I am a narcissist nice. buster. Fuck those people. <sighs> Fuck them up. I've had dealt with 20 years for one. Yeah, I hear you on that one. So who would like a card or a reading or else we're going to start uh, pulling some collectives. We're going to see what yeah. the dragons want today. We're going to see what the energies are. If you, if you didn't get a chance to see it yesterday, uh, in between all the... Uh, the uh, burps and uh, misstarts. Uh, I do have my uh, clearing that I did uh, yesterday. It was really powerful. I had a lot of people come on. Uh, we did a whole bunch of different yeah. light language clearings uh, for the full moon and for the eclipse. It's in my profile. Yep, I see letters to the narcissist here as well. So hello, everybody. <laughs> I love it. Love those. Yeah, I love those names. And so who who is going to be the first one? Don't don't like everybody rush right right ahead. But who's going to be the first one to ask a question and get an answer? It is free one question per person. Ten dollars. What's blocking you in love? Ten dollars for messages from your DM, and twenty for a mini, forty for a full. Um, don't rush in, but let's let's get in there. Otherwise, I'm going to start pulling some love messages you may not want to see, or maybe you do. Yeah. We'll start, we'll start with some energy and. Uh, Maybe uh, Susan can clear the space. Make sure yeah, we have a nice that. sacred clear space here. As we know, TikTok is all full of all sorts of unruly things uh, that like to come in. And I'm going to set my own intention to keep this a safe place. Nothing negative shall come in. Are they going to be mm. just moved out to the outside? Not in the velvet rope. So, Spirit, what is the energies for the collective for today, this full moon night? We've got two cards, and we have the first card of it is Fifth Chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So, what the is throat? our fifth chakra? That is our throat. Wow, you're pretty good, Susan. She knows her shit. <laughs> Just she didn't know today. she was being. She didn't know she was being tested today. So yes, it's your third <laughs> chakra. I passed. I passed. Yes, Arch <laughs> it, yeah, Archangel Gabriel here. He's he's here, ready to blow that horn. Uh, so that's the one energy that's coming out. And spirits also saying, get a little action tonight. You can see that little that little pony's trying to get a little bit. Of, that little horse is trying to get a little action from the other horse. Uh, so get yourself into some action. Get some action. I think Spirit's telling you there's some action happening soon. So be prepared. Yay. All right. So who's going to be our first? Yeah. Anyone have any questions? There's five on here. Change. All right. We're the full moon. No one has a question. No one has any questions about light language, Reiki, what's going on and all this craziness. That's awakening everyone. Um, I don't well, it's know. rattling everybody from their core <laughs> from what I'm seeing. Right? Like Yeah, I've been some uh, some crazy, crazy people. You actually talked to my friend, the one who did my logo, uh, yeah. that you see behind me. I gotta I gotta get him to do one for you. I gotta I see if he'll do it for free. Um, oh yeah, I was, yeah. I was chatting with him this morning about some other stuff. We haven't chatted in a long while. It was an amazing artist. Oh, uh, we cleared the energy. I can start pulling some cards. All right. 
See what's going on. If the same Tell cards us what's going to happen out. for this week, for the rest of this week. Let's. Well, the I first song know. that was channeled was one of these nights. So something's coming in. Um, let's see what love's coming in. Let's do these moon ones because we just went through the moon. Oh, we did. We yeah, let's there do this. Full first. moon. Yeah, let's see. If that full moon was so big. I, out first. I it's like a plumber out. came to your house right at the window. Yes. Oh, the teenagers are back. <laughs> Into the, the basement with them. <laughs> I can't get away from them. Someone Into help the me. dungeons. <laughs> Into the dungeon. Send them into the dungeon. I'm going down there. It's going to be my dungeon. I'm going to do all my podcasting and YouTubing down there. Hell yeah. All right. Great studio. All right. So some of you need to know we're stepping onto this new timeline. So there's no looking back, okay? Uh, you do not want to go back into that same loop. So make sure you're shining. Pull the door shut, please. Um, yeah, and let your fears dissolve, okay? Let it all go. Whatever has happened in the past is, is gone, okay? Some of you are going to be asked to take inspired action, to step into more of your spirituality, your awakening, your growth, kind of coming into your gifts, um, as well as seeing the bigger picture with everything going on and know that everything's happening as it's supposed to be. Okay? So that's why you have to have be from a higher perspective. Oh, Susan joined. I joined. Um, know your worth. So know you all were here for a reason. If you're on here, you're following me and Larry. There's a reason you're following us. You're on our vibration. You're coming into more of an alignment. You're getting called to listen and, and pay attention to different stuff. Um, I've been on this, I don't even know, 10, 12 years now. So just make sure you are paying attention to what you're getting drawn to because that's your subconscious trying to get you to listen to stuff that's going to help you through this transition. Take a breather means don't you don't have to rush anything. Just take your time with it. There is no rush. Everything that's within you is just needs to be revealed. Oh, yeah. As I say, reveal what needs to be seen. <laughs> yeah. So. Hi, Violetta. Thank you for the like on the live. All right, Robbie, what is it? King Leo. Uh, are you King Leo? Did you name yourself King Leo? Um, embrace the flow of life, okay? So just embrace everything's happening for you, not to you. And then you need to speak your world into being. So we are creator beings. So that's why you have to worry and be careful what you say, what you think, and even what you text and what you write out. You're creating your own reality. So if you don't realize that, you're going to keep creating the same world over and over again. So speak and create your world into being okay so speak more positively and that will bring it in i'm dying to know what is this robbie kirsch king leo yeah so i know a few leos none of them are kings but they might have been at one time i have no uh, idea what that means lives. so maybe he's doing who, some good drugs i'm not really sure maybe he's watching yeah. some movie i'm not really sure no judgment here have fun but i don't know who king leo is and and for those of you who are new to these lives uh, Susan and I cannot see each other's chats, so if you'd like to ask a question from either one of us, uh, please uh, let us know in the chat. So mm -hmm. It's just a limitation of TikTok. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. Okay. And if you do get a question answered, uh, we right. do ask that you like and subscribe to our channel. So Rob who is going to be first? Robbie Rankin Co. I don't know what that is, but maybe that's his name. Um, all right, let's pull the chakra. I'm getting the heart, which I got the solar plexus earlier. Um, and let's get some charms, see what's going on. You saw the charm I pulled out on the Instagram, didn't you? I did. I saw I saw the two elephants uh, getting a little busy. Well, I can't let them go. I'm like, they're there. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let go. Still getting busy. They're still getting busy. Oh, magic just joined. Oh, the magic's here. All right, two. And thank you Again, for the like, Lynn. Again, we got two elephants, Parry and, oh, Pegasus. Yeah, so we're in definitely fairy tale land. Okay, Pegasus. So we might be called to travel. Pack up, get ready. And then we, this one, they're not hooked, but there's definitely two little elephants. So that's a sign of twos. And then sailing's the, the word or the song. So we're sailing into calmer waters. All right, let's get a nice message from our future higher self yeah. uh, and let's see what our future higher self while i find that set of cards let's see what our future higher self wants to tell us today Absolutely. for the collective our future higher self has been coming out a lot lately 
Yep. It's my two favorite decks I got, which is the future higher self and then what's blocking you in love. And a lot of people, you know, they, they know they have problems, but they never know what their blocks are. And there's very few mm -hmm. decks that will actually tell you the block. Now, this one's pretty uh, pretty potent, and it's got a lot of reasons. So when the things come out, every read I've done, everybody has said it is it was dead on. So let's see future higher self. What does the collective need to know right now from their future higher self? And remember, your future higher self has already uh, been through all the trials, the tribulations, and everything you've done. But they've actually solved the problem where we're still rolling around that hamster wheel of karma. And so what we want to do is pay attention to how did they solve the problem, what what uh, advice they're giving us, because that can help us open up and give us the key to open those doors what we thought were closed. So mm -hmm. let so it's your higher self is screaming today, let go. I mean, really let go. There's something better on the horizon. So you can see it right here. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a double let go because you've got to release control as you release control something's better before uh coming for you realize you have all the qualities to be a leader so those of you here have some leadership qualities your heart always knows the way simply trust it and that comes with letting go letting go letting go and last but not least you have come back to the start to see what you missed before, right? And this is the hamster wheel of karma that we're trying to get off of because we came right back circle to where we started. This time we have a, we're at that crossroads. We choose, choose better, use the information that you gained along the first trip or the second trip or the fourth trip around the hamster wheel and choose with that information, knowing what is on the other side of that wheel versus what you could potentially get to. So your your higher self is encouraging you to take a pivot and try a different choice. And hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, hopefully it resonates. And thank you for all those hearts. All right. All right. Do we have any questions? I got zero people in here. What's, it's like 8.30 at night. I guess where is everyone? We have lots of people pop on and they pop off. Yeah, I got, I, I, somebody's hitting some hearts. I don't know where they are because they, they don't show me who the online viewers are, but I'm getting a lot of hearts just flying up and down. So that's a great thing. But the person doing the hearts, how about asking a question? Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out what's blocking you in love, and you may not want to see that. I like to start with some positive stuff of what we can do to, to get ourselves into it. You know what? I'm going to give you – I'm going to give everybody a – Love note from the universe, because we all need a nice little love note from the universe every once in a while. So, yep. universe, what is the love note that you want to give to the collective here tonight on this full moon night, second night of the full moon? And right away it pops out, enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. Thank you, Violetta. She says, I have a calming voice. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you've what you've created? No, besides an intergalactically known, uh, what is that word? I don't even know what this word, saunter, named after you. Inspiration in the eyes that have watched you, hope in the minds that have admired you, and love in the hearts that have known you. But you might ease up on your sachet before someone gets hurt. <sighs> not bad, kiddos, not bad at all, the universe. So you, the universe is giving you some some kudos uh, for just being you. An ASMR voice. Oh, yeah, you know, I should try doing some ASMR stuff. But it's always for women. I always see the women doing the ASMR. I don't see the men doing it so much. Uh, maybe I need to just do this. Click and make, make these little noises and dings. Uh. And click my <laughs> – that's what the ASMR does. Uh, that drives me nuts. Yeah. So with that, okay, Violetta, do you have a question that you would like? Um, or anybody else, uh, anybody has some questions because, you know. Yeah, if not, we have some love coming through, so we'll pull some love cards. Yeah. She says she follows a French whisper on YouTube. I don't think I've ever seen a French whisper. I've seen the English woman that does, like, the sleep stuff, and her videos are amazing. Uh, she's huh. really good with the special effects. She's like a psychologist. Okay. Because I used to have a not lot of problems. Familiar sleeping. with that one. I'm not familiar with that. All right. 
right, we got no one over here. I'm gonna do some tarot. Let's see what's going on. Some yeah. claim tarot. You can't tell stories and history stuff without showing your face on on here, Violetta. I tried that, and they started banning me, shadow banning me, because I wasn't showing my face on the lives. They they have a timer, and it the AI kicks in around three minutes. Uh, and if you don't show your face the entire time, then you you get kicked off, and they ban your video. And it's really really nasty. I I, I wasn't too happy, but I, I adapted. Mm. Well, they have all kinds of weird stuff. All right, so the chair mm -hmm. is saying. You are the star. So again, this you are the creator. This wealth is coming through, and I'm 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 welcoming that. So we had to have these endings for the new beginnings to start, as well as justice, balance, and clarity is coming through. So I think a lot of you are dealing with these wounded ego. So whatever these last tests were, um, it was testing your boundaries. Um, so you feel a little bit wounded at this point and some of you are still in this negative mindset. Okay. But this happiness is coming through with the six of cups. So, and some of you have some reconciliation or new love or uh, past love coming through as well as, well, me and Larry will take this career opportunity. Yes. Money, money, money. SMTM. Show me the money. You want to take that money in that. <laughs> <laughs> so get out of this fear and illusion, okay? That's just, you can't see sometimes, so you tend to block it. So get out of this pride and ego, okay? Because success is in that middle. See, you got to get rid of those two to get to the middle. You know that uh, whenever we get that card, we got to get a little bit of, <laughs> a little <of> Jeffersons. <laughs> I love it. Grew up on this. I love it. And um, we got a question. Yay. Well, finish your last card, and we do have a question. No, finish the last card, and then we'll have well, a question. Well, hold on. Okay. I got some more. So, um, yeah, you're thinking of crossroads. So, some of you got to make these decisions that are coming in, but no, you have options. Okay. So, yeah. So, you're just laying the foundations for this union coming in. I know that you're at the completion of that ending, and divine intervention did knock some sh stuff out that was not meant to be there. So, communication is coming in. Some of you have an offer as well as success coming in. Yeah. Good cards. Good cards. Yep. So Violet's asking, did Edward have an mm. epiphany about mm. her recently after what she told him? I'm going to ask the mm. universe. Let's see what we'll the universe out. gets. Let's see if it's going to get snarky with me. It was snarky with me yesterday. Let's see if it's being. And Lynn also mm. has a question after that. So let's see. Universe, what's okay. going on? Did Edward have this epiphany? Yes or no? Give me a yes or no answer. And the universe gave me two cards, and it's saying, take a chance and three months. So I'm feeling that maybe in three months he's going to have that epiphany, but I don't feel it's that epiphany is now. And I want to see what the energy is uh, with you, Violet and Edward. And yeah, the universe does have an attitude. Trust me. <laughs> it also has a cute, is one hell of a sense of humor. Um, so, I'm getting affirmations. So, uh, love language is affirmations for you guys, Violetta. So, I think what you're going to start to hear is you're going to start to see in the communication a little bit more affirmations uh, about uh, what they what he feels for you. And when he starts to do that, you know that epiphany is coming in. Um, right. So, hopefully that that makes sense and. Lynn would like to know: Will me and Rashad be able to get a place together before Christmas? Well, let's let's ask the universe again. Let's see see if we will. Lynn and Rashad be able to get a place before Christmas? Spirit, spirits up with the uh, the double answers today. Spirit says, "Don't worry. It's giving you a let it go." And what does that mean? It means don't worry about it. Don't try to control it because it's coming in soon. So, yeah, Spirit still has, uh, uh, it's having its attitude today on the cards. Um, so please like, follow, share, and subscribe. Uh, donations are absolutely wonderfully accepted. Um, not required, but we do require that you like, follow, share our, our channel. Um, yeah. so, so, Lynn, yeah, it looks positive. Universe is just saying, let it go. It's going to flow. It's coming in soon. You don't need to worry. Very nice. And, you know, we'll go back to our favorite song here, because this is what's going to happen. You're moving on up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Absolutely. Oh. All right, let's see. Um, 
Let's see. All right, let's do some of our love oracle and see what's going on in the tarot. Let's see what's going on. Oof. Well, it's not today. <laughs> Go to mirror. All right, someone might be one side of relationship, narcissist. Okay, so use your judgment if you're seeing some red flags, but you guys have a soul connection coming in, a partnership, soul, soulmates coming in, which is <clears throat> confirming the abundance is coming in. So that abundance could be in peace, could be in job, career, um, your freedom. So just know that, um, but it's just your bliss. So be grateful for what you have. So this is coming in. Oh, wow. We got wedding rings coming in. Oh, hey, yeah, I got a lot of that this morning in my big read. I, I've got wow. a lot of those cards. Might be having a coffee cup conversation soon. Uh -oh. So when separation is heartbroken and they're going to say what they want to say. Oh, shit. All right. All right. So you're receiving what you need moving on. Um, so some of you might be moving on from this person. So it depends on the red flags. Okay. Always know you have many options. Twin, soulmate, whatever. King with spouse. You got to let go of the title. Okay. It's all about the flags, toxicity you have to pay attention to because there's also choice in this lifetime. So twin flame. Yes, they're an instigator of bringing you into union, but it's also a, a, a journey back to self and your healing. So once you're in that level, um, your twin's going to keep triggering you on and off until you get to that level. So some of you might have a twin flame that might have just started or it's at the end. Um, so make sure you're making sure you are <clears throat> healing yourself, doing your shadow work and knowing your self-worth again. Ooh, I made it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I just saw that All right, woo right, we woo, woo, we made it. Yeah. So when you get to the end of the journey, there is no worry. You will have different options. So. <laughs> so that's why you have to keep letting go and surrendering. What is meant for you will come into you, and not to worry about it. Oh goodness. Sorry, my head's right. still throbbing. That's all right. Oh, so let's see what's Violeta. let's thank you. Let, let's let's see what's blocking everybody in love and wow spirit just threw threw some shit at me. So let's see what let's see what oh, they're saying. It's a, they're no, the number three, two, and one. So we'll start with the number three. Okay. Right? What's blocking you in love? Losing yourself. You feel lost in your partner. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be yourself and have your own life too. So that means you're being uh, too clingy. You're being codependent. You're not allowing yourself to be you. You're agreeing to things like going to rom-coms when you really want to see a karate flick. You know, oh. these are the things. You're a cat person and that person's a dog person, but all of a sudden you're you're now a dog person. So stop doing that. Be yourself. Find the person that aligns with you. Huh. Fated to be alone is number two, right? And the fated to be alone is a, is, a, is a big one because, you know, we get hurt so many times. We keep on closing the doors in our heart. The, the heart's bleeding. It's got holes everywhere. And we just uh. say, you know what? I give up. I'm sorry. I surrender. I'm done. Love is never going to happen. And as Susan C says, you speak those words into existence. And what happens is it happens. And so you've got to get out of that space of you have to believe that you are meant to be with somebody. And the number one reason, and we all know what this is, right? It's lust, not love. Passion isn't the same as lasting love. Don't get sucked in just by good sex. You know, we've all been in that place, going after the bad boy, going after the bad girl. And you know what no, happens. No, nothing you're wrong always, with that. <laughs> you're always in that space. And so... You'll always come crashing down at the end, and when you crash down, it's you know, the the, the ten seconds of joy uh, is all gone. Oh my God! Some of the songs, some of you might need to listen to is "You're the Inspiration, Chicago," and "Turn Your Love Around." So George Benson. So just know how infinite the universe is and what it can bring in, and it, just stay positive that you know they can turn things around. Um, faster than you can think of. So it's really getting out of your mental head and working on that. Um, yep. I'm not a cat person, but a dog picked me to attach to. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, I've got Lynn saying, I keep trying to sabotage my relationship. My bad. Make my, me pee myself. <laughs> my, my boyfriend is not the bad boy. Don't worry. They make the pens for our age. So you can do that. Um, so, um, 
I'm going to see what's going on with Lynn, why she's sabotaging herself, spirit. What, what's going on with Lynn? Why is she doing the blocking? Even though she said her boyfriend is not the bad boy and she used to have that LOL. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, Lynn, your problem here, according to spirit, it only gave me one card. You are being guarded. You're lonely because you are so aloof. Trust others and let them into your heart. So you got to open up your heart a little bit. Uh, and that comes with healing, right? Don't put too many boundaries up. And I, I, I lecture this all the time. People are tired of hearing me say it. But when you put up a boundary, make sure it's a, a balanced boundary. If you're going to put a door, make sure the door you know, can be unlocked and is unlocked for the most part. It has a window, at least a ring doorbell in front of it. Because you, know, you want to know what opportunities are coming in for you and what opportunities you want to pass by. So if you see the guy out there, you know, selling Bibles or, you know, pest control, keep the door locked. You got that ring doorbell say, sorry, nobody's home, right? But you may see that person, your person, show up at the door. Do you really want to send them away? And so that's my, that's my lecture on boundaries. Keep healthy boundaries. They're good. Uh, unhealthy boundaries actually block whatever you want from coming in. So let's see what other wonderful collective things, or do we have some questions? Any questions from the, from the peanut gallery over here, or am I going to have to uh, put a little music I don't see on? anything. So I was going to try and do some timing, get some more messages about the love, a couple, and then I want to do some higher self. So yeah, a lot of you need to release. Release the attachment to the timing of things and let things happen organically, okay? So we overthink things and it's not, <clears throat> just not to worry about it, okay? Um, sorry to text, the, I think I found a vanity for Lila downstairs that's cheap. Yay. But whatever I have to do to get that child down there, I'm going to it, do it's it. It's real easy. It's it's called a it's called a, a set of chains, oh, you're by her hair. and you just you just pretty much like a ball and chain, and you just throw it down the steps. <laughs> She's afraid of the bugs. There's no bugs down there. That place is as clean as clean can be. There is no. No, I cleaned it. I had them spray like double. Oh, all talk, no action. We don't like that. No likey, no likey. Nobody wants a pen pal. Um, Someone needs to heal. <laughs> oh, but you were saying that someone's like a love addict. Oh, wow. But just know this is a true connection. That is a twin flame card if I've ever seen it. Show sure is. The so trust. There will be celebration. Okay. And you don't want this happily J-Lo only for a moment. You want that real one. So keep throwing that fish back. Yeah, you are being tested. This, this, uh, that yeah, came up in my reads. Being tested. There's a so, lot of tests and a lot of illusion. You need to feel with your heart. Yeah, so the universe is going to test you, and it's not about Vita's dream. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll answer that for you. Um, but you also know, yeah, the universe is going to test you and saying, like, what are you going to put up with? You're going to, you want to keep dealing with that toxic person that's in and out? Do you want to deal with? Are you. Yeah, that's all about your self-worth. Are you putting up with that? Is that what you're accepting? Okay. So the universe can be like, hey, well, you keep saying you want something better, but you're taking this person back. So there's no room for us to give you the real thing. Um, I don't like being tested. <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> does he yeah. dream about me too? Uh, yeah, he does. Confirmed. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> No one likes being tested. No, but no, it's not no. about being tested. It's just, it's our subconscious saying, like, are you sure you're ready for this? Because they don't want to give you what you're going to toss away. If you're not ready for something, then you're just not going to be able to handle it. Um, and you're not a match for it either. So you have to be aware of that. All right, let's do some. Did you want to do something? Or I was going to do some higher self questions. Do a couple I'm higher tough. self, and then maybe I'll do an activation. Well, Violetta, yeah. I mean, well, stay on here because Larry will try and help you out. You, uh, hey, first of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rec just say congrats for saying I'm the toxic person, probably because it takes a strong person to accept that we sometimes are our own problem, and it takes a long time on this journey to break down your ego to be like, oh shit, and then you look at that twin that's been showing you this for years, and you're like, oh crap. I 
that's like reflecting what I, what I feel like I had commitment issues. I'm the one that's, you know, not ready for this. Like, so you have to keep bringing it back to yourself because that's the true journey of you're not ready for it. Then that they're not ready for it. So think about it. If you're a true twin, you're mirroring each other. You're the same thing. You're thinking the same thing. So if he's thinking it, you're thinking it. Same thing. If she's thinking it, you're thinking it. So always bring it back to yourself because that is part of progress and growth and realizing, oh shit, I got to work on myself. I need some shadow sides or something on my shadow or some conscious that's coming up. So um, that's amazing. It takes a really strong person just to really start acknowledging that. It's not and easy. Welcome to your first step. Welcome to your first step. Like, like Shuson said, most people that come onto our show here are people who are ready to actually get serious about their healing, ready to take their journey seriously. And, yeah. you know, you can, you can, Post a million, you know, spiritual memes, love and light, rainbows, unicorns, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, unless you're facing your own shadow, you're just you're, you're just basically bypassing. And you know, it's a choice. It's okay. You can. We don't judge. You can bypass if you want, or you can believe whatever you want. That's okay. Because it's not on us. Uh, we we believe what we believe. You you believe what you believe, and that's no judgment. But if you're ready to actually, you know, delve into your shadow look at it yeah. deeply staring at it in the eye and say okay uh, what if this is the real me and what if this is just toxicity uh, that i grew up with because i was conditioned to act and think like everybody else and want to care about what everybody else thinks about me rather than what i think of myself and so when yeah. you're ready for that we're here for you for that journey uh, we can give you some light language some reiki uh, yeah. even the cards are great for guidance to help you to kind of understand what it is about yourself uh, that can help you get in that place of healing so you have that happy life. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is to think about a narcissist. I dealt with one for 20 years. I've dealt with some of the family and friends. But think about it. Like, until you get to that point where you actually appreciate that person and what they've taught you, and also be so thankful that you're not them because they are people, they're the first people to say they're perfect and there's nothing wrong with them. And you run from them because if they have no access to their selves to realize that they are think they're perfect, no one in this world is perfect. So if you can't see some of your flaws, there's a problem. But you also feel sorry for them because they're never going to learn and they're filling a void that's never going to get filled because they will never look at themselves. So they always have to suck off of people around them because they can't do it themselves. So you have to get to a point where you're not angry at them and you're just like, okay, but just don't be around them. But also know that this is a journey and this is a journey for strong, courageous people that can look within and take that. It's not an easy journey to heal. Larry can say ourselves, we don't have jobs right now because we are have exited the matrix. It's pretty much. It's, it's pretty and I much. I feel like it. I see the guy with the glasses 10 million times when I'm driving. So, um, just know that this is a journey. It's about starting to awaken and see things for how they are and really just keep trying to heal yourself and take it easy on yourself. Forgive yourself. Okay. It's not easy. We've, a lot of us have been through some really crazy shit. Yeah. And like I say that, that and Susan's made a good point too, that, you know, healing, uh, you know, isn't always, you know, wonderfulness and happiness it's it's being really uh raw it's uh very emotional uh it can tear you down that's why they call it a dark night of the soul because you're going through all the things that you're purging uh, the yep. trauma of lifetime after lifetime after lifetime and so and, you know with that it's a choice like everything we all choose uh, we can choose to just ignore it uh, and like with narcissists what they'll do is they'll project uh, their yeah. stuff onto you so they'll blame you for everything they've actually done you know, yeah. and so that's, you know, it's kind of like politicians. They they do all the nasty stuff and then they blame everybody else for it um, when they're doing it themselves. And so well, be the yeah. real you. And, well, uh, and the other thing at therapist when I went through the divorce was like, I would not want to cry in front of my kids, you know, and just like, you know, still the weekends when I don't have them, I, you know, is when I kind of break down or try and like have my time. But, you know, I, there was a couple of times I broke down in front of my kids and I was like, you know, this is a good thing. They need to see that. They need to see real love. They need to see 
you know, that you're, you know, it's not the greatest, but they need to see these things and they start to appreciate you that much more. Not that you need to do that on purpose. Don't please do that. But, you know, um, you know, a lot of us have been through a lot. Um, so just be okay. All right. doesn't mean we have to like torture our kids, but you know, fortunately there's things that they need to see and there's things we d wish they wouldn't have seen so you know it's just all about being that authenticity but it's hard it's hard to open up especially when we we go through so much is there any questions um so i i was doing some of these higher self and it's split with happy ending and awakening so we'll oh, start we like happy endings so hold on a second let's let's so stay with a happy this ending morning, all <laughs> the guys were saying at my my meeting was like i was like oh good god it was like a group of 30 guys i'm like i'm gonna leave um i can make ginger real soda you need ginger soda oh yeah maybe i should make my own i should make I my own real once. ginger soda water and honey yeah, I failed miserably when I tried it with my soda stream. It tasted so awful. I, really I wasn't don't very drink good any at it. But... Soda, this I ginger ale. I, I've always oh, it's great been stuff. To. Ginger in my tea and everything. Yeah. Um, though it may not seem like it now, that you will accomplish far more than you could ever imagine. Your story will have a happy ending. So if you knew everything's going to work out in your favor. Hey, there's not, doesn't mean there's going to not going to have bumps in the road. We all have bumps in the road. I, I'm sure, you know, me and Larry have been going through a lot of <laughs> spot holes. Oh, there's a, you know, it's a, it's a joke. It's a joke out here in Pennsylvania, you know, that, you know, in Europe, they drive on the left side of the road in Pennsylvania. We drive on what's left of the road. And there's oh. not much left of the road for where we've been driving. And it's, it's pothole after pothole. There's a wall, there's a flat tire. All of a sudden, you know, uh, I'm driving in a Pinto and I get rear-ended and you know, right? the asteroid comes down and dents my hood. I mean, it's just, it's crazy shit, but you just gotta, right? you kind of gotta go with the flow and you gotta giggle at it a little <laughs> bit because if you don't giggle, you'll cry, uh, but you have to just laugh it off and move those laugh. energies away from you. All right, if I ever win the lottery, I will have the first be helping every single parent that's out there. It's not an easy journey. No. So, um... Believe in miracles. You have to take risks. Miracles only happen to you when you allow the unexpected. So it's not going to be in your comfort zone that these happen. So just be aware. And then again, we're awakening. So you're getting to know who you truly are as a soul level. Take things slow and begin to shift the way you interact with the world. So just understand that you're not the same person that you used to be. Um, and then we'll leave it on this. Just trust the journey. You're coming into alignment. Trust everything's happening. You're going to these calmer waters. No, of course not. Everything's going to be easy, <coughs> but you will have everything you need with inside of you as long as you stay in that calm. Okay, that's why it's so important to meditate and ground. To stay in that calmness, that's where you can stay in that calmer water. So when you experience stagnation in your life, know that it's the next level calling you. Answer the call and let go of the old. We're up leveling. It's a calmer next level we're all moving to if you're on here. I like the sky in that card. It's pretty sky. You're gorgeous. Yeah, you're yep. coming into alignment. So just know that you are. Everything's aligning perfectly. So if you're on here, there is a reason you're getting called to it. These are messages for you. You know, reach out to me and Larry for any. He does. Um, and maybe he's going to do one on here, too. We'll do like yeah, a I'm going to do a, I'm, I'm going to do a little activation uh, sure. on here. Uh, and it's going to be for because uh, we are in the middle of this crazy energetic storm of it started around the 88 portal Lionsgate and moved into the 99 portal and from the 99 portal we went to a supermoon in Pisces which is right now along with the eclipse uh, it was a partial lunar eclipse so there's crazy energies welcome to the gateway of eclipses and what happens when eclipses uh, there's always radical change so you're gonna the pots being stirred up and whatever was on the bottom is now up to be seen and mm. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down some codes and uh, the codes that we're going to bring down, it's going to be different for everybody for what you need. Uh, I also brought some codes down yesterday, which will also be helpful for you. So you can uh, watch the replay. Mm -hmm. I have it both on YouTube or on to um, TikTok in my profile. You'll see it. I did a impromptu live last night uh, where uh, we did some stuff both on YouTube and TikTok. I haven't done that in a while. So okay. with these codes, we're going to bring in what it is that you need in this now moment, what 
uh, is being stirred up for you to be seen, uh, what's being stirred up for you to release. So there's a lot of stuff that just needs to be released. That you've held on to it for way too long, and we want you to uh, release that hold. Uh, we're also going to bring down some codes to allow you to connect to your higher self uh, so that your higher self uh, can mm -hmm. help guide you. We're going to clear some of the fog uh, in the way of that communication to get to your heart space uh, where your higher self sits. And at last uh, but not least, we're going to try to get us into the highest timeline uh, that we can get available to us uh, for this moment. So I just want everybody to set that intention to receive what's meant for them, only for them. Uh, you, If you choose not to receive it, just say in your mind, I don't choose to receive it. You won't receive anything. If you choose to receive, you just say, I want to receive it. You can say it out loud in your mind, as long as the intention is there. And you'll get what's meant for you, and everybody only gets what's meant for them. So with that, I call on my higher self, uh, outside of polarity, to come in, bring down the codes uh, that are required for anybody here who is listening or is going to watch this on the replay, as well as uh, bringing in the highest and best timeline and releasing all things that no longer serve us for our highest and best good, uh, using the frequency of love uh, to break through all those chains, contracts, bonds, things that hold us back uh, from being our highest and best self. And uh, with that, we're going to start our light language. Shapanani di shi pa i pa o sho pa i a pa o ko pa u ju no 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 pa i a ya pa a pa u sho pa wo ho ho pa i a ya pa i ne i sha pa i u sho pa ho ho pa i a ya wa pa na ha ba u u wo ho pa pa u sho ho ho shi 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 pa 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 wo na ha ba i na he ya pa u sho pa i sha pa a pa u sha pa u sho pa ne ba i a pa u sho pa 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 u sho pa ha ba i a pa Usho pa 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 usho pa ne he pa ya pa usho pa 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 usho pa 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 usho pa pa ya pa usho pa 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 usho pa. I'm also getting a, a message from my higher self saying we're also going to clear uh, some connections and some trauma from people who have had past life connections that the trauma is still present and they need to release it so we're going to do that as well we're going to heal it we're going to surround that timeline with love we're going to make space for something new to come in. All right, so uh, let me know how everybody has received it. Each person will receive it in a different way. Sometimes you'll yawn, sometimes you'll uh, have a little flatulence, sometimes you'll burp, some people will feel tingles, some people see things. It, everyone is going to experience it in the way that they best express it. So uh, with I that, that. Any, yeah. anybody want to uh, share share their experience? Uh, well. Lynn has been, thank, thank you, Lynn, but that is super good. Does anyone have any those, questions? Have anyone yeah, ever who, heard light language before? Let's see. How many people do you have on? Uh, probably about four. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, and it usually it'll, like I say, people who are meant to hear it will hear it. They'll find it either in the replay or here. Yesterday I had about five people that just needed something really big, and so we had a big release uh, yesterday for a lot of people. Uh, the energies here mm -hmm. are for that. So if there's anybody that wants something special uh, that they want to manifest or they're having a problem with a blockage, mm -hmm. uh, put it in the chat. Uh, let, ooh, I should release myself. Yelena and I, I Violetta, it's the first time, so it's good. It's good. Something new, yeah. okay? Yeah, and what this is is just a remembrance of a uh, language that uh, was spoken uh, when I was at a different frequency, a much higher frequency, a much higher frequency version of myself. What I do is channel myself uh, to get uh, the frequency and the uh, 
codes because uh, all it is is codes and frequencies and we put the frequency out there and as the frequency goes your body knows what to do with that frequency and automatically will try to match the frequency and as it matches the frequency you'll generally release now your body knows how to feel that frequency and so you can uh, just you know keep on healing from there and every time you listen to this so if you want to watch it in a replay it, it mm. will uh, do something different and it will peel another layer it's not it's multi-dimensional it's not just what you hear you always listen with your heart not your head so uh, mm -hmm. with with that uh yeah. anything else or you want to do a, a tone or one of those little tuning forks or um uh, chakra to be pull um yeah, I mean, then I'm going to wrap it up. Um, how do we pull? Was it the heart chakra or we did the solar plexus? No. Uh, I, th I forget which one it was, honestly. I know I did one on the throat earlier, but um, I think we'll just do the one on the soul yeah. purpose because I think that gets people into alignment. Hi, Lexus. I see you there in the lurking in the corner. How are you today? <sighs> Okay, so this is because um, I realized I had two extra ones, and one's for sole purpose. So let's see. Oh, I can breathe. I... <laughs> All right, so same thing. It's a frequency, so you just have to listen to it. So I use these when I do Reiki, and we have them for each one of the chakras. So if you sign up, um, I will do those depending on what is most blocked. Um, sometimes I do all of them in the in Reiki sessions and sometimes I, I focus on like two or three. So this one's for your sole purpose. All right, so a lot of you are stepping into alignment. And as you listen to it, it'll start triggering your awakening a little bit more to come into alignment with what it is you're here for to do. But you also need to get into some meditation as well. Because everyone's sole purpose is different. Now it's like yeah. a very yeah. sweet. I'm going to give you a little light language for that nose of yours. I'm going to see if we can't just clear a little bit of it up. I don't know if I can do too much, but let's see. For what? what for for your, your sniffles. I'm going to see if I can help uh, you out here. She said my crown's opening, so it's just it's starting to get better. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 All right. Let me know if that fixes you a little bit later. It's only going to give you a little bit of yeah. light relief, but... I'm, I'm hoping it'll at least get you somewhere where you can get some some rest. Right. So I, I, I definitely know how, how frustrating that is when you can't you can't breathe and you're trying to sleep and. Well, know, last guess, time but, it was mostly here. It's up. It's more in the head now, so it's more of the crown. Um, so I think it's just, and then she said the ears. So I think it's more of the awakening. So it is what it is. <sighs> rest and taking care of myself and eating better and I, i've been drinking water and it's definitely helped whatever my stomach was it was it might have been the soda or something fluids are always good because it just moves all that shit around especially if you're starting to have your lymphs drain because uh, that happened to me last year and that lymphs were draining and everything and it's nothing like hey, a little AJ. bit of hey, bud. how are you my son just jumped on hey honey so would anybody like a uh, a card lexus you want a card just let us know what you want a card for Lexus does her own light language too. So That's she's, awesome. uh, she has her little, she's lav light. She has a, I think an Instagram channel. All right, Lexus, what do you want it on? Do you want love? You want uh, uh, guidance from your higher self? Uh, tell me what you want and I'll find a card for you. She wants one on love. All right, Lexus, let's see what's, let's see what the angels say. What's coming in for you for love. It's my favorite cards to pull. That's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, then I'm going to have to get spirit. off of there. Okay. Let's <clears throat> in for Lexus. All right, so we got two cards here. Well, Lexus, you've got an unexpected connection coming in, so be prepared oh. for that one. I think your healing's been doing really good, and that person's going to come in with a burning desire. I'm going to see what the Ooh. bottom of the deck is. I usually don't look at the bottom of the deck, but I – and. 
I, I hate to. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but you also got rekindle. So uh, perhaps there's uh, somebody that's uh, coming back into your field. Uh, I'm sure you would know who it is. Uh, uh, so I don't know if that resonates. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to ask a timing question for you. We use the moon cards. Let's see when this is coming in. You know, spirit always lies to us about that. Huh. And spirit, when is this coming in? Ooh, ooh. Let's let's talk about <laughs> sometime in the future, right? But yeah. next couple of weeks is what's yeah. coming up. So this is a super positive one. Uh, uh, we're gonna have, you're gonna have to text me when <laughs> when that comes in and say I was right because mm -hmm. usually I'm pretty right on these except for myself and nothing you know that's the problem with reading these things we never get our, the answers from the cards from ourselves because yeah. uh, it's supposed to be a surprise <laughs> yeah that's really soon Lexus uh, so you know just remember you know the deal it's 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 as it's as soon as you keep choosing the right choices and if you make a different choice well you know it's it's all about probabilities it's it's either it's either going to come in or you make a choice and all of a sudden it gets pushed away you know the that little uh well that's the idea you take your mind off of it that's when the things come yeah. in uh all right i'm gonna get off um okay pete has one question yeah pete what do you have can i ask a question sure just pop it in the chat you're welcome, Lexus. And then for anybody else who's watching, uh, take a look at our price list. Reach out if you're looking for your own personal uh, reading. It's a little bit deeper. $10 for What's Blocking Love. $10 yeah. for messages from your DM. $20 for a mini. $40 for a full reading. Full readings generally will take about half an hour or more, and they'll be done via Zoom. And at the last bit, too, uh, Susan does Reiki, both live and uh, via remote. And I do light language. Uh, the price for either one of us for those sessions are $50. Yeah, it says no doubt, but um, I was getting it. You might want to get like a light language or some kind of <clears throat> Reiki or something, because I feel like um, you definitely need something to, to help with the healing. But it will heal, and it will heal soon. So make sure you keep that in your, your head, otherwise you're blocking it. And so with that, we thank everybody for uh, coming and visiting with us. Uh, we're playing around with our time frames uh, from when we're going to go live and, and not mm -hmm. live. Uh, we're trying different time slots, see where we get the best uh, visibility, and then we're mm -hmm. going to probably, you know, lock it in for, for a couple of weeks until we switch it up again. Uh, but uh, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn your notifications on so you can see when we do pop up. And every once in a while, we'll put a little note out there saying, hey, we've decided to pop up for the day. And, you yeah. know, come out, say hello, get a couple cards read, and maybe try, uh, get yourself a, uh, uh, you know, a small reading. And uh, like everything else, donations are greatly appreciated because that's kind of how we put the lights on in our house. And Absolutely. We'll take it. Yeah, my daughter needs to sleep. And then, yeah, I have a phone call from someone from high school about a whole per person that passed away this week. Yeah, so sorry about that. It's Just never crazy. a nice conversation. Just weird. It's so unexpected. I was hoping to see her up at Penn State. Just, yeah. It's just scary. She's younger than my mom. Just weird. Yep. It's sad. Weird. It's sad. It's just crazy that th things happen. All right. Bye, loves. We will be back on. When do you want to try? You want to try Friday morning and then we can do yeah, it I again? Yeah, we can do it Friday morning. Yeah. Monday. That like, way we have another like break. Yeah. Until Friday Monday morning's night. good. Yep. Yeah. Let's try that and see if we can't get that going because I feel like there's like a lull in the middle of all those too. Okay. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a tough week energetically for everybody. I mean, even at the lot, it's been just dead slow. I mean, dead, okay. dead slow. So. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Have a good night. All right, everybody. Cheers. Bye.